Uh, well, so I've been basically been flying my whole life, uh, but the first time I actually took control of the airplane was when I was about seven. Uh, at that time I was very scared, of course, but my dad was right next to me and everything was completely fine. Uh, but then, uh, my, since then, my passion's grown. Uh, I absolutely love flying now. Uh, and when I was 15, I got my license to become the youngest, uh, person, the youngest pilot in the world. I'm trying to be the youngest person to fly solo around the world. Uh, I'm currently in Nairobi. Uh, and uh, I've just come from Rocky Chogyu uh, and uh, I'm hoping with this journey to inspire young people uh, to do follow their dreams. Uh, they don't have to wait until they're 18 years old. They can do it while they're still young. The, the main challenges I've had so far are mostly uh, with, over the Sahara Desert to do with visibility uh, because obviously all the sand comes and you have to, you have to be very careful. Uh, but that all, like, that all went well, perfectly fine. Um, and then actually when I came into Nairobi, um, it was completely fine, but there, there are quite high mountains here and there are quite low clouds. Uh, so I had to really be careful and uh, I, I, couldn't, I didn't get uh, radio contact until I was very, very close to the airport. The things I, I've, I had been hoping to see were actually the Sahara Desert and quite a lot of this area around here uh, where, where it's very beautiful landscape and it hasn't let me down. I, I actually love the views. Uh, both in the Sahara Desert and around Kenya, um, but right now I'm I'm st I'm hoping to see more of places like Madagascar or the U.S. Uh, or Dubai, things like that, special places that that you don't see anywhere else. So.